Hi there folks, in this video we're going to do an unboxing or uncrating of some 7.92 by 57 millimeter Mauser ammunition, otherwise known as 8 millimeter Mauser. And this particular ammunition is supposed to be Persian uh, or Iranian made ammunition. And a friend of the channel kindly offered me the opportunity to open this stuff up. It's not mine, but uh, he's going to let us open it up and get it on video here. So let's get the camera off the tripod and we'll have a closer look at the markings. So this is a pretty standard looking style of ammo crate. We have uh, dovetailed corners and handles on the end. This side damaged, must have got dropped. 60 pounds. We have some uh, Persian or Iranian markings, one would assume, on the top there. Some shipping labels. We've got some more markings at that side. If you can read that, by all means, feel free to tell me what those say because I do not know. This side of the crate is a little more interesting. We have some more writing on this side. Someone has tried their best to scrape off the uh, shipping sticker there to see what the markings were underneath. These markings are kind of embossed into the wood, which is kind of cool. And there's nothing on the bottom side. It's pretty hard to tell from this. It's very, very faded, but uh, there is a lion here on the top of the crate holding a sword. So, And then there's a crown over the top of that. So unfortunately rather hard to see. It's been embossed into the wood or pressed into the wood as well as have some of these other markings. The gentleman who owns this ammo had, a, had another crate which he had opened up already and the crest on that example was quite a bit more clear and uh, legible. So it's got some English markings on here. These would have been applied for the purpose of importation and they had been done over the original markings. As you can see here it says 1000 cartridges, small arms, 7.9 millimeter ball loose for, not sure what that would be, Bruno rifle and Got the lot number. Looks like one G nine A slash thirteen thirty. If we can get the light correct here underneath, we can sort of see the original markings, which were painted over. You can see them embossed or pressed into the uh, surface of the crate. So anyway, all right. Let's uh, get the wire cut off this and try to get into it. Alright, with the wire out of the way, let's uh, see how firmly the crate is. The top is on the crate. It's not on there very tightly. I would sort of get the uh, impression that perhaps this has been opened before because it doesn't look like all the nails are are still present in it. So there looks like there would have been a couple of screws there which have been removed as well. So this might have been opened up for inspection when it was imported or at some time before or after that. So let's get the nails out and have a look at what's inside. Alright, only uh, four nails holding that thing on, the top one. So let's have this look and see what's inside. Make sure we're lined up here. Ah, and we have a soldered steel or galvanized can underneath. Alright, it looks like this has been opened before by somebody because that would have been soldered down there completely and it clearly has been pried up. Although it hasn't been removed completely because the solder is still in place 
on the back. Very thin metal. Very thin. So I've got some cardboard underneath the metal. That would be put there to protect the ammunition from the heat of soldering the seams of this when it was originally made. So, a couple of layers of cardboard and a sheet of brown paper underneath that. And the ammo. So we have uh, five stacks of loose rounds and they are separated by some cardboard and the ammunition looks uh, looks reasonably good it's slightly tarnished but it's not uh, it's certainly not terrible I don't see any obvious uh, extreme corrosion in any of this stuff the uh, owner got it for quite a good price so I don't think he can go too wrong this ammunition if you read online, doesn't have a great reputation for reliability. People who have fired it say there's a lot of hang fires and a you know a lot of duds. But we will see. He's going to let me pull some of this apart, and he has generously uh, authorized me to test fire some of this, and we'll uh, do that for a future video once we get out to the range. But anyway, all right, let's have a closer look at one of the rounds here. As you can see, this is brass cased ammo. We have a full metal jacket bullet with what appears to be a gilding metal jacketed bullet. I'm not sure of the weight at this point in time. It might be the light ball, like the 152 grain stuff, but we'll have to weigh some uh, on the scale when we take it apart to see. It looks, uh, like I said, it looks pretty good. It's There's no obvious uh, corrosion on it. It's a little bit uh, tarnished, but not severely. However, when it, ammunition's coming from the Middle East, uh, storage conditions can sometimes be harsh with high temperatures, and high temperatures can degrade ammunition, kill primers, and so forth. So uh, it remains to be seen whether this stuff is really surefire or whether it's more of a source of components. There is the head stamp, and I believe this is the correct orientation. That's the top, that's the bottom, and that would be the date on the bottom. So looks like we've got a staked in place primer. The primer is undoubtedly corrosive, and this stuff probably has a German style flake powder in it, but we will see that when we pull some apart in a future video. Anyway, I want to thank you guys for hanging out with me while we opened up this ammo and had a quick look at it. As always, your comments and uh, ratings are appreciated. If you have any experience with this ammunition yourself, if you've fired any, it'd be nice to hear from you in the comments. The, uh, it's good to tap into the wealth of knowledge that's, that's out there in the viewers, so I'd appreciate uh, that if you've got anything to say. And uh, other than that, I guess we're done for this video. And like I said, look forward to another video or two on this ammo when we pull some apart and then probably a separate video at the range, trying some out to make sure that it goes, or maybe it doesn't go, we'll find out. Anyway, thanks again, and have a good one.